Well, hello there, person. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Hope you're having a good bank holiday or whatever's going on in your world. Check it out. I got my uh, favorite trusty controllers here. I got two of them and a keyboard in front of me. And what I'm going to do is start up Raid Binder. And we can do a four player split screen. And uh, one of the new things here I've been working on is uh, pressing a button to actually join the, join the match. So just like you would expect from any other kind of couch co-op game, uh, when you're playing local in Wraithbinder, you'll be couch co-op mode. Uh, right now, I'm just using the keyboard here. Um, and, uh, oh, there's also some other new options, too. So you can set the number of players you want up to four when you're doing split screen. And then you can also set the number of bots now. So you can be like, oh, we want, let's play against four bots or one person against seven bots or, uh, you know. Uh, and then you also get to play to number, a certain number of kills. So this is going to be cool. Like, um, whenever you you kill someone else, uh, they become your wraith. They, they're bound to you. And basically, they're on your team now. Um, so you can play to a certain number of kills. So every every match ends when everybody's on a certain team. So if you, if you kill everybody else, they're on your team, and boom, you win. Uh, that would mean you've got seven kills. But uh, if you're playing against a, a little local multiplayer match versus some friends... Uh, you'll play to a certain number of kills, and whoever wins it uh, gets to those kills first wins. Um, and then you've also got the mode solo and mode teams as as before. Uh, but oops, let's go back to uh, um, let's go back to let's set up for three players. So I've got three controllers here. I've got my keyboard, two controllers, so we can do up to three players. Um, let's start. And this is what I want to show you. So we've got this whole press a button to join the match thing. This is cool because, um, let's see, let's do, um, I'm just going to press a button on my keyboard. And boom, we've got a, I got my controls. I can set up my character, create, you know, choose which character I want. And then, um, or create a new character. Um, and then let's get these other controllers going. So I'm, I'm just pressing the start button. So they're Bluetooth they're turning on. All right, so we got a controller, and we've got some debug messages coming up telling me that, it, that those controllers are connected. Uh, but there, I pressed a button on one of these controllers, and I can go and select this character and choose what character I want them to be. Let's actually just do a new character here um, named Ah. This whole character creator is um, it's a lot more improved now, too. Um, let's get in this other player going, too. So we've got, boom, we've got three players. Let's set that person to ready. Um, and then the keyboard, I'm going to set that character to be ready as well. Cool. So, and it's smart enough to know that, uh, because I selected three players before, um, as soon as this player's ready, it will start the match. Uh, even though there's a fourth player that we could, you know, connect down there at the, at the bottom. Um, but check this out. You can got, you got all your height controls. I showed this last week, but it was really not as, as polished as it was before, as, as it is now. So, let's create a, this guy, let's make, what color do we want him? That's kind of funny, purple pants. Style, you can just randomly scroll through a bunch of different styles. There's some funny ones here, but really not enough items yet to make it super unique. Um, I kind of smashed together this whole style thing because I could have gone and said, hey, what do you want your armor to be? What do you, or what do you want your pants to look like? What do you want your arms to look like? What do you want your back to look like? What do you want your shoulders to look like? But there's not enough options. There's not enough room on the screen for all that. So, uh, and besides, if you're just kind of setting up for a local multiplayer match, you probably don't want to wait while somebody goes and chooses 10 different options to customize their character. Like, one option to kind of just do these random styles is pretty neat. And then this, the first option is always, if you go all the way back to style one, that always means uh, bareheaded, bare-chested, bare everything. So, uh, let's go ahead and say, well, no, let's, name him some, let's name him something cool, right? Who's, what's this guy's name? Tad? Let's call him Tad. Uh, another thing I've done this week is to make sure you can start from scratch. So if you have a blank saves file the first time you run the game, everything works fine. You can create all your characters and start matches and all that. Which, believe it or not, took a lot of, a lot of different little tiny bugs. Little, little tiny things like, whoops, forgot that you know we need some data there. I've got Tad's controls right here, but I could be controlling... 85H 
I didn't. I forgot to create a character for that third person, so they're just a random character named A5H. Uh, and then of course we've got Pam here on the first uh, first control, and then um, the fourth character there is a bot. We've also got some other bots here in the match that are going to be playing against us. Um, so, so this is pretty neat, right? You got four players that can join. You got four players split screen. All the little issues that I was having last week with models have all been fixed too, so that they're all looking really good. Um, let's go ahead and, and here's another thing too that I've been working on is making sure the flow is nice and smooth. If I want to go and, and save and quit this, I can quit back to the main menu. No crashies. Yes, no crashies. Thank you. Um, let's go back to, let's do two player mode. Yeah, six bots. What it, kills doesn't really matter as much right now because I haven't actually finished the whole kills feature. Let's do this character's Pam. This character will be Tad. We'll start a match. So this whole flow works. You can go back and forth between the main menu. Um, and here's, check out this other new item. I just experimented with creating this. So I've always had this vision of having a boss Right, or you can have boss battles. Maybe it's a, a certain game mode where you can play against the boss, um, but it just didn't really work out. Like it, this, this whole mode right here we're playing right now is a free for all um, battle. It's just a basic kind of like almost like a battle royale, but it's more like a it's more like Wraith Binder, I guess, because you just when you die you get on somebody else's team and you keep playing. So it's a little bit different. But if I go here to the middle and I hold down my this button here, I can turn into a boss temporarily, right? And if anyone else comes in and hits this switch here and holds down a button on this, they'll turn into a boss. And when you're the boss, you're big, so you can't squeeze through tiny spaces, right? If I want to go over here and try and squeeze onto this narrow little walkway, can't do it. I'm too big. Boom! But I turn back into a regular player. I can go in uh, and now, you know, fight other characters just like normal. But if I want to go back over here, turn into a boss, that's certainly possible. Again, because I'd love to do that. I kind of like this being a boss mode. So you run all slow, but your your uh, attack radius is much, much greater. And you're actually, your damage is greater too, but you run slow and you can't fit in, split in small spaces and it doesn't last forever. And if anybody else that goes and hits that switch, they become the boss and you turn it back into a regular player right away. Um, so that's also really fun. I think I think this, you know, I was just this kind of just an experiment. Like, hey, uh, what if we put a, a switch here that ter temporarily turns you into, into a boss? And it, it I, I like it actually. I'm just noticing that the the uh, when you get hurt, there's these little red I red red blood things in the corners, but they're not they're not lined up for the correct. Uh, um, they're not in the correct position in this two camera mode, so that needs to be fixed. Uh, but there you have it, lots of fun. And it's really great to have all these little uh, technical features working really nicely where you can go back to the main menu, where you can set up a four player match or just play a one player match. Or you know, it's, all these options are nice and, and the, there's no there's no crash bugs trying to you know switch from one world to another, which is a, a lot of the time that could be an issue when you're writing a game is like, gosh, I forgot to clear out all my entities. Um, but, uh, that's all working now, right? So, exciting times making the game Wraith Binder. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more fun stuff later on. All right. See ya.